सो हेलो गाइस सो इन लास्ट वीडियो वी टॉक्ड अबाउट था पर डेरा बसी वर्सेस सापर पटियाला कैंपस इफ यू हैवेंट सीन द वीडियो यू कैन जस्ट लुक एट इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन सो आई हैव प्रोवाइडेड द लिंक सो इफ यू आर इंटरेस्टेड यू कैन जस्ट वॉच दैट सो टुडे आई विल बी टॉकिंग अबाउट हाउ यू कैन जस्ट चेंज योर ब्रांच और यू कैन जस्ट बेसिकली अपग्रेड योर ब्रांच आफ्टर कमिंग टू कॉलेज बेसिकली आफ्टर इन फर्स्ट ईयर और आफ्टर फर्स्ट ईयर एंड प्रेजेंटली यू माइट बी हैविंग काउंसलिंग एज वेल सो यू ब्रांच माइट बी अपग्रेडेड ड्यूरिंग द काउंसलिंग एज वेल सो दैट्स इट also if you haven't followed me on instagram you can just follow i have i have provided the links in the description so you can just ask any of your doubts in the dm and i try to reply to most of them and also you can just subscribe the channel if you like the content and if you found it helpful you can just like the video as well this fly is just irritating me a lot but yeah let's just start so basically there are two ways by which you can upgrade your branch so thapar university doesn't take admission for just one month like this they just keep taking admissions till december and maybe january as well so there is a test that happens in during december it happened during december and most probably it will be happening in december only so it's a test that is conducted by thapar itself so it's basically an entrance entrance test so basically they have some specific number of seats for various branches so it's just like an admission test where the syllabus from je mains comes so it's a pen paper based test you can just say omr test and last year it had around two centers only basically patiala and delhi so it wasn't an online test you had to go to center and just fill up the form and just give the test like a normal omr test that you used to give earlier so that's it and there are some various and there are limited seats only for example i think last year only 300 students appeared and i think less than 50 students were considered for computer related branches so it just depends so both the students who aren't part of the upper university and who are taking admission can apply to the can can just give this test so the students who are thinking of taking admission to thapar university in first year can just give this test or the students who are already studying at thapar university and want to upgrade their branches can also give this test so both the people can give their this test and and regarding the details of this test so thapar university will release its details on their website as well maybe around 2 3 months later or you can just keep checking the website and you can just keep checking the criteria as well and and so this was it about the december test now let's just talk about the second method which is on the basis of your cgpa which you might be getting after first year so guys this is the notice that we got for branch upgradation for this session 2020 and 2021 so you can just see all the details that they have released the application form which you can fill for upgradation of your branches on the basis of your cgpa which you might be getting after first year so these are the criteria you should have completed all the course credits prescribed in the first two semesters basically in the first year and there shouldn't be any backlog in the end of first year of a four year be b tech or five year this programs and you should have secured a minimum of and you should have secured a minimum of this cgpa so it's greater than equal to 7 for scst and pa students and greater than 8.5 for general category students so basically cgpa is a cumulative cumulative grade point average so basically semester wise we call it semester grade point average so if you are getting a cgpa of 8 in semester 1 and 9 in semester 2 so they will be taking an average so 8.5 will be your cgpa after the end of your first year and the student on the basis of his category will be eligible for admission to a certain branch if he in which he or she wants so they have also explained the methodology so a student will be permitted to change a branch from a to b strictly in cgp order so yeah, that's it and basically a strength of branch a does not fall below 90% and equivalently at most 10% students of the sanctioned strength of the branch are permitted to leave so basically if there are 100 students in the branch so only 10 persons will be able to leave the branch in order to upgrade it that's what they have written and the request of the student will be reconsidered again strictly in cgp order if she or he does not violate rule due to another student getting transferred to branch a so of course the branch upgradation will be there on the basis of merit on the cgpa basis so this is it this is the form that they gave and it's just like a normal form you can just see and 
and that's it they might have reserved some seats for SCST and PH students so this was the notice that we got regarding the branch change and talking about the cutoffs the cutoffs are just sky high if you want to change your branch on the basis of your CGPA so so I'm not sure but the cutoffs were around 9.86 for upgradation to CSC or computer science and engineering branch and it was around 9.76 for upgradation to COE or computer engineering branch so you can just have some idea about the cutoffs so they are quite high so if you want to change your branch after the end of first year you should be getting quite lot of CGPA which is quite difficult although it depends on person to person but yeah it just depends on you so this was it about the branch upgradation process so i just told about two ways of by which you can just upgrade your branch so that's all i wanted to say in this video and if you have any other doubts you can just ask your doubts in the comment section and and you can follow me on instagram if you want to ask any doubt on dm as well i will try to reply it and that's it for the video and i'll see you in the next video thank you very much also don't forget to subscribe the channel and like the video and i'll see you in the next video thank you very much